one on my list is Eight Land Weir versus Julian Arosa. Is that right? Yes, yeah, Julian that Arosa is. was another one of those guys that had one of those huge upsets in 2020. He beat Sean Woodson. It could, if I'm not mistaken, it could have been on that Shannon Dobson card. Um, but it was a huge upset. He uh Sean Woodson the like is a crazy sniper on the feet, but he just It wasn't, but still. What? It wasn't on the same uh card. It was oh, on well, the then, Oh, okay. It was on the Poirier Hooker card. Uh Nate Land Weir, on the other hand, is coming off a Giannis decision win from Darren the Damage Elkins. This fight it has could be fight of the night. Both guys absorbs more strikes than they land. Land Weir averages more with better defense and accuracy and is 85% takedown defense. Basically like a sprawling brawl type guy, mm-hmm. which you just love to see. Where Julian Arosa has a little bit more of a well-rounded game. You know, he's got the ground game. He's got – he's not afraid to strike with you. Um, but I think I'm going to go Land Weir on this. I think I see a few – like upside-wise – Land Weir, I think, can be one of those guys to compete competitively at 145. Julian Arosa, on the other fan, on the other hand, is more like um, a stepping stone to you know maybe the top 20, the top 15, something like that. So I'm gonna go Nate Land Weir, just outclasses him in this one. Yeah, um, I think the fight's gonna be a little closer than like an outclassing, but I do think I do agree with you. I think Land Weir's gonna take it. Looking at the odds, the odds are basically even. Um, I'm seeing minus 115 for each. Wow. I'm seeing minus 105. You know, like it's... I really like Land Weir though. I really do. I, I'm I'm definitely more confident in Land Weir than some than the two other ones that we uh, were iffy on. Right. So, so far, um, being let me look at the. It the, looks gonna like come down the to Shanna Dobson or right. the Rafael Alves and Sabatini fight. This fight, I'm more confident in Land Weir being able to uh, to being able to take it home. This one other thing I wanted to point out is Julian Rosa seems to lose by KO. Little questioning of his chin right here. Four KO. He's got eight losses. Four by KO, four by decision. He's three and four when he goes to decision too, which sucks. And Nate Landweir is six and one when he goes to decision and uh, has been KO'd once, subbed once, and one decision loss. He's got three total losses mm-hmm. so one in each. But I do think that this is just lined up for Nate Landweir to win. Yeah, I, I agree. The odds show that it's very even, though. I know. So, it's because of that grappling game of Julian Arosa, but Julian Arosa's grappling game is not that good. You know, we they're talking like Julian Arosa gets one win against someone good, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, now he can actually compete. He had three straight losses before that to Devontae Smith, Grant Dawson, and Julio Ars. So, yeah. He yeah, does have a win over Jamal Emmers. Pretty he good. Does. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, are we agreeing on this? Um, On Nate Land- Landweir? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. We agreed a long time ago. <laughs> We're agreeing on that one. 